Hello, how are you? In this video, I'll show you how to add uh, hair highlights and also how to enhance the makeup. All right, we're going to go to our image, the, the image that we have been working on. Uh, in the uh, previous videos, I'll show you how to do some uh, skin tone, skin smoothing. We added some noise and sharpening, and we also did some dashing and burning. And this one, I'm going to show you how to, you know, add some hair lights. Okay, the first thing that we want to do, we want to uh, create a background copy. We can do that by pressing Control J or Command J on a Mac. We're going to name this background Hair Highlights. All right, we want to change the blend mode to screen. Then we're going to create a layer mask. We're going to invert the layer mask by pressing Control I or Command I. We're gonna select our brush. We're gonna set the uh, hardness to 0%. We're gonna increase the size of this brush by pressing the bracket key, the right bracket key on your keyboard. That one is next to the letter P on your keyboard. We're gonna change the uh, foreground color to white. And we're gonna start working on her natural hair lines. What we're doing here, we're actually just enhancing her natural hair lines. Hair highlights there, yeah, that's what I meant to say. Okay, so we're gonna paint, we're gonna do one here, we're gonna do another one here. We can also do another one there, and one here. I don't really like this one down here. We're gonna decrease the size of our brush. Okay, now we're gonna change the opacity to 50%. We can also play around with it. Okay, 50% is not gonna cut it, so let's see, we're gonna change the... Uh, the opacity and when I say uh, you know reduce the opacity I'm just it is just you know reduce the effect of it because we're working on a different uh, layer so we can all uh, always you know change the opacity so 30% let's see this is the uh, let's see the uh, before and after 30%. I think 30% is going to be good okay the next thing that we're gonna do we're going to enhance the makeup so we're gonna create a new layer not a background layer a new layer we're gonna go and press Control shift n we're gonna name this layer makeup you can also create a new layer uh, by going to layers new and layer or you can also drag uh, press uh, this little icon down here that says create a new layer so there's so many different ways to do it but I like to use shortcuts so now we're gonna get closer to a photo model space mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna get closer. We're gonna change the blend mode to color. We're gonna select the uh, eyedropper tool. We are going to sample this color because we what, what, what we want to do we want to enhance the uh, the makeup of her, of her uh, or natural makeup. You know her makeup. That's what we want to do. So we're going to select. We're gonna tell Photoshop to select this color. I think I'm happy with this one. It's telling me that there's like two different colors right here, so we're just gonna work with this one. It's sort of a dark pink or something like that. So now we're gonna select our brush by pressing B. We're gonna decrease the size of our brush and we're gonna start painting. So what we're doing right now, we're just enhancing that makeup up here. All right, let's see. Okay. Let's see if we can paint down here just a little bit, just to enhance a little bit. Well, that's too much. All right. What about here? Okay. Now let's see the before and after. I'm gonna get you closer to her, uh, to her eyes and see the uh, before and after. That's before and that's after. So we slightly, you know, improve her makeup. It is looking a lot better now. Okay, so that's all I got for you today. Uh, don't forget to uh, check uh, Facebook, my uh, you know my page is facebook facebook.com slash to i photography and flickr.com slash to i photography. Don't forget to like this video if you want to comment, comment, and if you want to share it, it's okay. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to add backgrounds. We also how to create a spotlight. So this is the image that we're gonna be retouching in the next video. Alright, that's all I got for you. Thanks for watching.